There's been a reaction from the Minister of Interior and he has expressed disquiet at the panic buying by most Ghanaians ahead of the lockdown on Monday. Ambrose Derry, who taught some market centres in Accra, says the restrictions are being misunderstood. The president was clear in his directives and on Saturday, the markets were flooded with shoppers all ahead of a Monday lockdown. I've just gone around a few places today and there appears to be some misunderstanding about some of the things. The rush to buy things, the rush to buy food is totally unnecessary because the measures have made it possible that you can go to the markets and buy food and that wherever food is sold would be open. So the rush before the deadline is totally unnecessary and a misunderstanding. Interior Minister Ambrose Derry says the action taken by citizens is a dangerous one. Filling stations, gas stations are unnecessary crowded. First of all, they will remain open. And secondly, it's a dangerous thing to go with that crowd because it could cause fires. But all I can tell you is that these measures have been well taught out by His Excellency the President. The security will do its work. The open air markets, we are allowing only food staff to be sold. And therefore, non food staff will not be sold, creating more space. And therefore, the social distancing is going to be possible, and hygiene will always be observed. Former Deputy Attorney General Dr. Dominic Aine, who is against the law that gives the president backing to impose the lockdown, says the consequences for persons who may flout the orders could be dire. In terms of the regime, um, the person is, uh, you know, I mean, um, subject on some other conviction, you know, to I think uh, 5,000, uh, a fine of 5,000 penalty units, all right, or a term of imprisonment that is equivalent to the, I mean, uh, 5,000 penalty units. That is, that is the regime now. My advice to people to obey is based upon common sense, because we are in a public health crisis. It is an emergency. And Ghanaians owe themselves a duty, uh, as well as their neighbours a duty, you know, to keep, um, you know, to themselves uh, to lock down and then ensure that um, we don't spread the virus.